Let me know if I sound too comfortable. I'm gonna sit in real recline for this game because it puts me in a chill mode. You know? Just sitting around, kinda. It's a long game, you know, so that's what this is all about. Playing that long game. So I had the dumb idea that I would just start Trails of Cold Steel by, you know, somebody real smart noticed that I was uh, going to start that way and just reminded me that, hey, you know, these three, these three exist, the Trails in the Sky trilogy. I was like, fuck. All right. I mean, you got me. You got me on that one. Hang on, let me adjust the sound volume a little bit. A little too close to my values. Let's see. Eh, a little loud still. Sorry about that. So I believe when we left off, we're going to run back to... Run tell that. To daddy. I'll, of course, be reading every part, so... Luke says, Erp, come on. Wait, wait for me, Luke. Huh? Oh, it's you too. Oh, great, it's Estelle. Hi there, Joshua. Okay, you little twerp. What's with the oh, great, it's Estelle remark? what's the big hurry? How about telling us where you're headed? You're not thinking about wandering out of town alone, are you? The roads are full of monsters, I hope you know. You're such a pest of style. Don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big fat noise noses in boys' business? Quit acting like you're a bracer, you wannabe. T tisk tisk, how wrong you are, Luke. How incredibly wrong. You're more wrong than a fool who thinks there's better tasting milk in Liberal than the milk that comes from per Perzel Farm. What? No, no way. You're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as of just a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real bracers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Real bracers. More like bracers in training, really. Don't think you should be getting on your high horse just yet, Estelle. Now, a high pony, on the other hand... Quit being a killjoy. Wow, you two are great. I'm so happy for the both of you. That seems like a nice kid. Oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. Unlike that smart aleck and cynical brat you call a friend. Th this isn't fair. I was supposed to become a bracer first. I can accept that Joshua became a bracer before me, but getting passed by the likes of Estelle? What's the likes of Estelle supposed to mean? Just so you know, you can't even be a bracer until you're 16 years old, get it? Only mature people allowed. That means no little kids who are still going to Sunday school. I don't know how I should put this, Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. You better watch out, Estelle. I'm gonna go train in my secret base, and before you know it, I'm gonna be a bracer too. Come on, Pat, let's go. Alright, I'm coming. See you later, Estelle. Bye, Joshua. That boy, Luke, he always he's always trying to pick a fight with me. I wonder if he just plain hates me or something. Rather, I think it's the exact opposite. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. It's just a boy thing. At any rate, what do you think Luke meant when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. A secret base sounds really intriguing. The pure of heart. The pure heart of a young child can be so inspiring at times. That's not really what I meant by curious. Well, let's see. What have we got in here? I think we have a little spending money after doing a little bit of good work. Hey there, Estelle and Joshua. 
Good afternoon, Mr. Elgar. LJ. Elgar. Good afternoon, sir. Correct me if I'm wrong, but today is your last day of training, isn't it? I seem to remember you saying something about it the last time you had I had you run the store. Ah, oh, so Joshua, I guess, uh, volunteers around the town as well. So how'd your training go? That emblem on your chest means... I shouldn't have expected anything less from Cassius, kids. But we're still bracers in training. I see, but... Well... I knew you were going to ha give up... I knew you were going to have to give up your part-time job here sooner or later. Okay, so it's a regular part-time job for Joshua. He's not, like, the coolest kid ever. Yes, I'm really sorry about that. Don't sweat it. I knew it happened eventually when I hired you on. It's a shame, though. There's hardly anyone out there with as, with a, with as good an eye for weapons as you. That's the path you've chosen. So get out there and show us what you're made of. Play that interact. So could I, like, yeah, thanks. That's kind of what I do. But I do appreciate the conversation. Give this world some life. So right now we're at 44 and the power we have how much cash? Thousand Mira. Um So I guess this comes to the good point of I mean it looks like the smart money defense nineteen. I mean they both have equal defense. I still have some pretty good offensive capabilities. Well, I didn't realize their stats are so close. Um Josh was a little faster. So let's boost uh, Josh's, Joshua's uh, strength with a new piece of equipment. This converts me now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Man, I like mix these two buttons up. This button. This button and this button. All day long getting confused. Uh-huh. There we go, a little boost. Works out. I'm thinking all things being equal, at least in the near term, I want um, Estelle to have higher defense than Joshua. Stella, hello there, Joshua and Estelle. And Estelle. Stella, listen to this. I finally became a bracer. My goodness, is that true? And Joshua too? Yes, ma'am, that's right. Congratulations to both the both of you. You did wonderfully. See? But one thing, Estelle, you shouldn't be proud just because you became a bracer. This is just the starting point. I understand that. But here you are experiencing a lot of new things as bracers. And I hope that I can be proud of the fact that this is the path you chose in the coming years. But enough about my feelings. Please work hard and good luck. So look at that, Stella. Appears to be kind of like almost like a. Yeah, just like another person in the town that kind of gives a shit about these kids. What's she doing here? Fremont. Oh. This is Lumber Guy. It seems like it's going to take a bit longer for me to get the lumber together for this order. I must work hard to get my father-in-law to acknowledge me for my wife's sake. Jeez, man, you got some deep shit going on, huh? You're like, I got to get my fucking father-in-law to acknowledge me and all this. So... In the files. Oh yeah, the bracer notebook straight here. So how does this thing? Nope, nope, nope. There we go. So I really like how they do this here. Um, the way they organize the notebook in this game. So we presented the findings. We'll be searching for objects on the chest. Found the chest over your receipt all box. Then the findings to share, and this has been completed. And so now I think we'll have to do, like I said before, is just to. Uh, um, no, I'm not forgetting something. Oh, yeah. I guess I did forget something. Alright, complete the mods. Ooh, oops, awkward. Did I, uh, low-key use that cash, though? Hopefully it's just, like, something he's gonna just casually give to us, All right? Yeah. Renown, Renan. Renan. Renan, Renan. What are you in the market for today? A new pair of shoes? Now that you mention it, are there any new ones in stock? You know, like the newest Stregas? Unbelievable. You've actually already forgotten why we came in here to begin with. We're not here to shop. We're supposed to buy a copy of the liberal news for dead, right? 
liberal. It sounds like liberal, but liberal. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that word absolutely incorrectly. Ah, ha, ha, of course. Uh, you've always been a big collector of those shoes, haven't you, Estelle? I'm afraid that the new Stragas aren't out yet. I do, however, have some copies of the liberal, liberal, liberal news, liberal, liberal news, and if that's what you're after. All right, I'll take one copy then. That comes to 100 mirror, please. I know my dad always buys a copy of this magazine, but does it really sell that well? It sure does. The Liberal News has an excellent reporter and cameraman who have done a great job reporting the latest and most reliable news. They are, they're even supposed to have a running story related to Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. But enough about that, why don't you tell me how you did today? Did you make it as bracers? Today was your last day of training, wasn't it? Yep, everything went smoothly, too. But how did you know all about, about all of that, Miss Ronan? Mr. Ronan. Mr. Renan. Man, I want that word to be Ronan so bad. Haha, <laughs> in a certain sense, both you and Joshua are a little are like celebrities here in Roland. I tend to hear a lot from customers coming through here. I shouldn't have expected anything less from Roland. The grapevine around here is seriously something to be reckoned with. No kidding, the women here especially love to gossip. One more thing before you go. This gift is my way of saying congratulations. It's a free sample item I received with my shipment of goods, but don't hold the free part against me. Recipe book. What's this be supposed to be for? There are a ton of blank pages. It's a recipe book, isn't it? You got it. When you get a hurt fighting, if you just limit yourself to healing bones all the time, it's going to get cut pretty deep into your wallets. This is where a recipe book comes into play. If you eat food to recover your strength instead, it's basically free. Assuming you have all the ingredients anyway. So if you eat something new, write that, write down what's in it, and you'll have lots of recipes in no time. So how about we try this out? Go ahead and eat this cookie, Estelle. Received maple cookie. Well, I have made it a personal rule to never turn down sweets. Eat maple cookie. Learn the recipe. Basically, all you have to do is eat the food to learn the recipe. It's simple as that. As you're traveling about, you should eat whatever food you come across that you haven't had an opportunity to try before. Well, that sounds pretty convenient. Actually, it really does. Um, it's not that I don't like cooking at all. It's just that I've never, I never seem to get any better. I sure would love to be able to increase my repertoire and really shock my dad's taste buds for once in my life. That's the spirit. And I'm asking if you're in need of any ingredients, I'd be delighted to service your cooking needs. You really know how to solicit your customers, Mr. Ronan. Mr. Renan. Fuck. Thank you for the recipe book. We'll put it to good use. Eating the recommended dish at restaurants or using to-go meals as the recipe to the recipe book. By selecting the recipe book, all learned recipes will be displayed. As long as the necessary ingredients are available, the food can be made. There are two types of food. Sit-down meals, which must be eaten on the spot, and to-go meals, which can be carried as items. Sit-down meals cannot be carried as items. Ingredients used for cooking can be bought at, the, at a store or acquired from monsters. Also convenient. So it's a... What you got? I think I have like $3 left, so... Take some fresh eggs. And I'll hit this little bit of some milled flour because it's inexpensive. Give me that potato. All right. $30, you know, like back when I was in college, I could get drunk for like $30. Actually, I get drunk for like $20. But I went to school in Tallahassee, Florida, so yeah, no. Uh, let's see. I already got the mag. I think we're good to go. Aina. Aina. Estelle, Joshua, am I glad I found you two? Oh, hi, Aina. Is something wrong? You seem to be in quite a hurry. We've got a bit of a problem. Is your father at home today? Yes, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents. But what's going on? You know Luke and Pat, right? Sure do. In fact, we saw them not that long ago. What's wrong? Are they in some sort of trouble? 
I don't know how to say this, but I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off to the tower that lies in the north northern outskirts of Berlin. We in the tower of Esmelis? Esmelas. 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 Whatever, fuck. I'm just so bad at pronouncing these words that I don't know. Isn't that place supposed to be a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. Unfortunately, at the moment, Sherazard, Sherazard, Sherazard is out on the other bra on other bracer business. So I want to ask your father to bring the boys home safely. What are you talking about? There's no time for that. Joshua and I will go after them and bring them back. I don't know if that's such a good idea. The two of you only just qualified to be junior bracers today. With all due respect, I believe that Estelle's judgment is correct in this situation. If the two of us hurry, we may even be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. I understand. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from the Braces Guild, I ask that you lose no time bringing about the safe return of these children. Roger that. Understood. The Esmolus Tower can be reached by taking the western path at the junction along the Malga Trail. It can get into the, onto the Malga Trail through Relent's northwest gate. I'll be on standby at the guild, so if you run into any trouble, you know where to find me. This is our first real job. Come on, Joshua, we don't have any time to lose. I'm right behind you. So, they said Northwest Gate. Uh, let's see. North and West. Oh, there's a smaller gate. North, there's a smaller gate here. Let's see. Ah, there we go. The Malga Trail. Should take this opportunity to save. Fuck that button up again. This music is very pleasant. It gives me uh, some memories too from when I first played this game. But for now, we should get a little bit strong. Oh, wow. Swing and a miss, huh, bud? Remember when I said I wanted to get strong and then you did that thing where you missed? That was real sad. Oh yeah, one thing that this game has that uh, the handheld version that I previously played um, did not have is this fancy turbo button. It like, <laughs> makes you run and move super fast. And I'm just like, I'm toughly here for that. Like, uh, there's one thing that old JRPGs have in comments that they love to be slow as all the hell. You know, when like 90% of the time you might just be hitting the same buttons over and over again to elicit the same result. Boom. Set this on fire. I mean, I'm assu I assume all plants are like bad with fire. And I'm usually correct on that. I mean, imagine being a plant that is like not bad with fire. Like that would be peculiar. And we need to take out one of these guys almost immediately, so... There we go. Yeah, you know, I think that this is probably one of my favorite battle systems. Um, I used to believe that I had like such a you know strong affection for the active battles that happen in like a lot of the Final Fantasy games and like, nah. I, I like being able to actually take my full time. Even when you put those on weight, it still feels weird. But you can't take like, you know, you want to take your full time to really think about what you're going to do next. And Ouch. Shit, that hurt. 
So you don't really care so much about fire. But yeah, you know, just like get in there and get an ability to take my time and like kind of make a thought through decision. It kind of lent itself to being a little bit more, uh, a bit more contemplative than like the active battle system would do for me. Oh, Joshua. One thing is for sure, like, I didn't get so far in this game the first time I played through this. Well, like, maybe like 15-ish hours. I could be wildly overestimating, but, um... I still never found out what the deal is with Joshua. I mean, obviously there's some, you know, secret around this... How he's come to the town and... Cassius is fighting him. Like, they definitely had some situation that happened right before. But... Hmm... Okay, north, south. Manga mine. Oh, now they tell us to beware of monsters. Nah. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Oh, strength up, so you know what that means. Somebody's getting dual strike today. <clears throat> so exclamation mark means crit up. Got it. Oh. There we go. So I guess what I'm saying is, get ready for me to wildly speculate about who Joshua is. <laughs> Let's see. So based on the context, Joshua was, it looks like he had been beat down a bit. I bet for some reason he was maybe fighting Cassius. I mean, if she's, if at the time he was the same age as Estelle was, it doesn't seem like that was so long ago that he would be super small. So some skirmish, Cassius kind of spared him. It looks like we've come all the way to Esmelis, Esmelis Tower. Esmelas, Esmelas. Man, I've got to look it up. I didn't see any sign of them along the trail. So do you think they're, they've wandered inside? It's quite likely that's the case. Let's go in. It looks like we'll need to hurry. Right. Well, we might need to hurry, but I need to find some treasure. So let's just quick run right about. All right, we're doing okay on health. Let's hit the save though. I want to take full advantage of the fact that we can save anytime. Oh man, I hope you can hear that music in here. It's pretty nice. It's dark in here. I'm scared. Quit being a baby. We're on the first floor of this place. Did you hear that? They really did come in here. <sighs> Estelle, are you alright? Luke, Pat. She yelled it. I'm not going to yell it. If you can hear me, answer me now. Those little brats. Are they pretending they can't hear me? They might have climbed up to the second floor. Let's hurry and see if we can find them. Luke and Pat, you bad kids. Oops. <laughs> oh. You like how I made myself like confused for a second by doing something that obviously would make myself confused? I'm real good at that. Well, what are we going to do? Somebody help! Um, run in full speed. Focus full speed in the direction of the voice. Rush in simultaneously with Joshua. Oh, we should be safe with Joshua because he seems to know what the fuck is going on. 
Let's go, Joshua. Right, got your back. You monsters go somewhere else. No, shoo, leave us alone. Oh, there it is. What are you doing here? Joshua, you're here too? Get back, you two. These monsters aren't playing around. We'll take care of them. Hint! Protect all NPCs. Oh, jeez. If an NPC's HP reaches zero, the game is over. So it's like, you know, our, everybody's favorite escort mission. Let's see. So no special bonus on right now. Let's hit the... Uh, Mm. Yeah, let's be safe. <laughs> Her crap, chicken. Is he in there? Yeah, he's in there. Strength up, little boy. Yeah, go ahead and hide back, uh, fellas. Yo. Can you hit him with a dual strike? I think you can, Mon. I'm so glad I didn't miss. Hey, uh, Pat, you know any, uh, just quick magic? Let's see, I get two turns in a row here, looks. There we go, crit heal. Boom. Fuck you, my friend. Cacao! Still learn taunt. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Beast flesh. It looks like that's that. Yeah, I'm glad everyone's safe too. By the way, that was great timing the way you blitzed those monsters, Estelle. You really think so? Is it safe now? Oh man, that was awesome. You really showed him us, though. Not bad for a girl. You little twerp. Ow, that hurts. Why are you trying to do... What are you trying to do to me? What's wrong with you? You even dragged poor Pat all the way up here against his will. It's time to think about what you did today. Ow, you're hurting me. Stop it. I said stop it, you violent she-devil. So this is the thanks I get for saving your neck, huh? Looks like it's time for time to give you some of my special discipline. Ow, 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 ow. All right, Estelle, I'm sorry. Everything was all my fault. Um, Estelle? Shouldn't we forgive each other like they teach at school? This brat doesn't need forgiveness, but a little discipline should do the trick. Estelle, behind you. It's something with, it's something with teeth, isn't it? Sure is. Uh, nice monster? I'm not gonna make it in time. Ooh, the true OG has run in. Dad, you came. You still lack skill and understanding, Estelle. You must always prepare for unseen danger by sharpening your senses. That's part of what it means to be a bracer. Dad? What are you doing here? I just happened to be in town and heard the whole story of Aina. I'll give you points for your quick thinking and taking action to come for after the children. But you failed to follow through completely. I really messed up, didn't I? It's kind of shitting on her a lot. I, mean, I don't know if that's necessary. She momentarily didn't, no, didn't see, but Joshua did have her back. 
But I guess he couldn't get there in time, whatever. I think he could have. He didn't try. It's a good thing you shut up when you did. I'm sorry, I should have been watching her back. That just means that you have room for improvement. Constantly working to overcome your weak spots is the key. Understood. So how about we head home, everyone? Can you boys walk? I, I think so. That was incredible, Mr. Bright. You were like a gazillion times more awesome than Estelle. Haha, <laughs> of course I was. I'm her father. Alright, everyone. Let's file on out of here. I'm with you, Mr. Bright. Who's the glory hog now? I mean, I guess I should be thankful that Dad saved my behind. But why does he have to go and take all the credit like that? It really chaps my hide. Ah, that's just the way he is. After all, he is Cassius Bright. It seems like you've had quite a day. That is just unbelievable. The second we get back to Relent, he says, I'll leave the reporting to you and takes off for home. The sheer nerve, I tell you. There's no need to make a mountain out of molehill over it. At least the boys came back home and safe and sound. Anyway, I think that's all there is to report. Child rescue. But no bonus. Wah, wah. A current rank is junior bracer, ninth class. That seems not high up. Not high up. You did well for your first assignment. From the details of your report alone, I believe I can commend you both for a job well done. You should be proud of yourselves. You, you really think so? I know so. In fact, you'll do even better on your next job. If anything else comes up, I would appreciate your help again. Sure. How about we head home too? I guess we'd better. I've still got dinner to prepare. Would you mind holding on a second? The letter arrived for your father just a little while ago. Unfortunately, since he went straight home, I never got a chance to give it to him. Do you think you could deliver it instead? Receive letter to Cassius. I wonder if it's more of that work-related stuff. I imagine so. The letter appears to be, one, will be from one of our foreign branches. One of the guild's foreign branches? As I'm sure you already know by now, Liberal isn't the only country where the Bracer Guild exists. On top of that, your father is widely known across the Zamorian continent, so we can expect these kinds of letters from time to time. If you two would be so kind as to make sure he gets this letter, I would really appreciate it. Alright, can do that. Let's check the board again. Nah, no jobs. How are you doing, Aina? I'm sure today was tough for your first day as Bracers, but you had fine showing. I'll see you two tomorrow. I think this letter is addressed to your father's importance, so don't forget to give it to him. Well, let's see. I kind of want to check on um, old, our old buddy Stella, see if she has anything to say. Well, I better get dinner ready. Estelle, Joshua, would you like to join us for dinner? I'll whip you up something delicious. Ah, uh, today is not a good day. Are you trying to say that my cooking isn't good anymore? Huh? You used to tell me how delicious my cooking was when you were a little girl, but now... Sniffle! It's not like that at all. I'm really sorry if you upset you in any way, but our dad's waiting at home for us. I see. I'm sure your father wants you home for dinner. Poor Cassius will be all alone in the house by himself. <laughs> and just one more check-in with my... Oh, this guy's gone, working hard. Huh. Red Mira, for a backwoods town, these stores do carry a pretty nice selection of goods. The liberal kingdom definitely has a different feel with all these ornaments everywhere. I better get in the mood to do business starting tomorrow or I'm going to face some serious financial repercussions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's just not in the mood to work today, so she's been like low-key.
That seems not ideal. Hey, Joshua. Hmm? You think I'm really cut out to be a bracer? Well, you seem to have inherited your father's skill with the staff. And your nosy personality doesn't let you ignore someone in distress. Really? You think so? Sure, but why are you asking? Are you still thinking about what happened back at the tower? Yeah. Because of my carelessness, Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation. If Dad hadn't come when he did, he could have been seriously injured. I guess, I guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'll be able to stay on top of things in the future. That kind of talk doesn't sound like the Estelle I know. Huh? If we fail today, then then all that's left to do is to take back our losses tomorrow, right? Overthinking and worry about things that haven't happened yet is definitely not like you. Isn't being a bracer what you've always dreamed of? How can you expect to succeed if you let something like what happened today discourage you? Joshua. You're right. This isn't like me at all. I don't think a serious expression really suits your face either. You laughing like a big ditz is far more natural for you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're gonna see my anger expression if you keep that up. Haha, <laughs> okay, I admit that last comment was pushing things a bit. I'll overlook it this time, and thanks for cheering me up. I don't know about you, but I'm so ready to get home and eat. My stomach just started growling like a bear. Maybe glutton is closer to the mark than ditz. Don't food shame her, my guy. Alrighty. Skrr. I believe the way is this way. It's a whole bright house. Look at that zoom. Zoom. Daddy, I know you're not home. Oh, here's him. We're home, Dad. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. The details of your reports will be reviewed at each branch and will affect your pay and rank advancement in the future. Please make sure that you always remember that to do that to do it. Don't worry, we will. And before I forget, I got that copy of Liberal News you wanted. There was this letter for you at the guild too. And over the news and the letter. A letter, huh? I'm gonna, well, I'm going to get cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad? Um, thanks for coming when you did today. You really helped me out back there. I see you being rather gracious today. Papa is happy! I'm delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great man her father truly is. There's no need to hold back, Estelle. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. And your dreams. I swear, the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know when to shut up. I guess she's not as depressed as I had thought she'd be. Should I be thanking you, Joshua? I didn't do much. I just gave her a push in the right direction. Estelle's a resilient girl to begin with. Yes, she is, but she still has a long way to go. She'll run to more than just a few stomach blocks in this line of work. And overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. There's that soft side of yours talking again. Oh no, are eggs supposed to explode like that? I guess I shouldn't have gone in expecting to make a perfect meal in a single try. No wait, cooking is supposed to be about passion. Exploding eggs are passionate, right? Now, once more. That daughter of mine can sometimes be a little too passionate. I think I'll go help with dinner. We don't want the curds to catch fire again. But at this rate, there's no telling when we can expect to have a bite of food ready on the dinner table. Haha. <laughs> Alright then, let's see what this letter is all about, shall we? Because everybody talks to themselves before they open a letter. Cassius cuts the letter seal. Hmm, a message from the Erbonian Empire. What?
Wow, this is a surprise. This new dish is what I call Estelle's explosion over rice. Be sure to savor every last morsel. I will, your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> this is a raw talent. This is raw talent at its best. Today certainly has been a busy but great day nonetheless. We qualified as junior bracers, had our first real assignment, and I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. Not to mention the food being delicious. For a first attempt, this dish is actually quite edible. Because that's, that's what you want to eat. Your food is quite edible. At first, I thought I might have to pitch it out the window when you weren't looking, but it seems the technique won't be necessary tonight. Sometimes you're just so despicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to humble, be humble and just say something that tastes nice? All right, then. How about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. You made a splendid meal, Estelle. Thanks, Dad. Wait, business? Are you really leaving again? Yes. Something unexpected came up. This time, I'm going to be away for a while. Oh, hold on a minute. You're leaving? When? Tomorrow morning. What? I don't care what kind of job you're doing. That's just too soon. It's about that letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places, so, I'll, so it'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take good care of the house while I'm away. What do you mean, that being the case? You always use some vague excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. We have to accept this, though. A bracer's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know, but what are you going to do about all your jobs here at the Relent Branch? You've already accepted a few of them, haven't you? Oh, only about five or six. So I was thinking, and... How about the both of you handle them for me instead? What? Are you really asking us to do the work that you're supposed to be doing? That I am. I'll have to you do the ones which I think you can accomplish. Now I'll ask Sherazar to handle the difficult ones. So what do you say? I mean, sure. Sure, of course I will. You're okay doing these too, right, Joshua? Yeah, no problem. Looks like a good way to get some experience as a bracer. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Aina know about the change of plan before I leave. Alright, I'm starting to feel more determined than ever. We'll have to, do our, we'll have to bust our tails with these jobs so we don't tarnish your name while you're gone. Oh, Estelle, my beloved daughter. Papa is so proud. Oh, my dear Lena, who art in heaven? Can you see your daughter now? Our little Estelle has grown up to be such a lovely young woman. Face it, Dad, you're getting old. If people lose their trust in you at this age, you might as well just throw it in the towel forever. I'm only helping you out because I'm your daughter, and I have a duty to pay you back for the last 16 years. I'm only 45, and what's more, I'm very likely the most active member in the entire guild. Not bad for a pair of comedians. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Gransel or the one headed for Bo's? I'll be on the one headed for Gransel. My fight flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little earlier tomorrow. I'd better set my alarm clock just in case. Jesus, though, 10 a.m. That's not early. Zzz. Dead. Are you still awake, Joshua? Obviously, when he's, he's out here. You better hold off on the liquor, or Estelle will get mad again. Oh, he does have a little liquor drink beside him, doesn't he? <laughs> this is just my way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? I'll pass. Actually, what I should be saying here is, don't offer alcohol to minors. It's not like I'm sure who would jump at any chance to enjoy a drink or ten. Ah, that's because she holds her liquor much better than I do. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. The Erebonian Empire? That sounds pretty suspicious. 
This movement doesn't appear to be overt, but that's what has me worried. I intend to do a little probing at the Erebonian Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after Estelle while you're gone. Don't spoil that girl, you hear me? Now she's become a bracer, she needs to learn to look after herself. Estelle will be fine. She's got good instincts, and despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has talent with the staff as well. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a first-class bracer someday. Yet at present, she's like a babe in the arm in arms who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. And Joshua, the same thing can be said for you too. It's already been five years since she became part of this family, hasn't it? So five years. That means, let's see, she said 16, so that means she was like 11 when Joshua came along. How time does fly. Yes, it sure does seem that way. About what you said back then, are you sure you won't reconsider taking those words back? For me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may, not, may sound stubborn, but I can't take back what I said. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize, but I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you can't erase these past five years. Estelle and I will always be your family, no matter what may befall you. Nod. Thanks, Dad. So he's got some deep stuff that he has to deal with. Well, I suppose that's the end of the prologue. Prologue, a father's love, a new beginning. Or maybe that's the end of the prologue. Beginning of the prologue? It's gotta be the end. What a neat world they live in. Well, it looks like it's time for me to board my flight. Estelle, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself and try not to be a handful for Joshua either. For the umpteenth time, I heard you already. How about you try not to go overboard yourself with your own work? You're not getting any younger, you know. Say what you will, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. Shirazard, I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at the last minute. Please don't be. I'm slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. There's no need to be humble, Silver Streak. And I don't mean to make your life more difficult, but please keep an eye on these two. You just leave that to me. I'm tightening up the reins and not spoiling these two. Is tightening up the reins and not spoiling these two fine with you? You definitely understand the way I think. What's this all about? Ah, it looks like a mutual understanding between master and pupil. The Grantsil-bound airliner, Lind, will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship now. Uh-oh, I'd better take my seat. I don't know why I made him sound like a, like a precocious Steve Urkel. Actually, Steve Urkel's like inherently precocious as fuck. Have a great trip, Dad. We'll take care of everything here while you're gone. Keep it real. I'm not sure where you'll be going, but don't forget to bring him back a souvenir. A little fancy something would be nice. Hey now, this trip is for business, not pleasure. If I have any money left over, I'll certainly think about it though. Alright, you two be good while I'm gone. Well, this thing must be pretty painful to have to maintain. He's gone again. Yeah. Come on, you two. There's no need to look so down. Your father will be back in no time. I don't know what kind of investigation he's been asked to do this time, but when it comes to your father, he'll have it done before you know it. Uh, I'm not sad that he's gone. He's always been way more than he's been at home. All right, all right, if you say so. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on these jobs your father left for me. 
But if you run into any trouble, give me a holler. Will do. But first, I'd like to try and finish a few jobs with Joshua. I want to see what we're capable of, capable of doing as junior bracers. Alright, if you insist. I imagine that with Joshua tagging along, there's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck, you two. Thanks. We'll do our best. So what do you want to do now, Estelle? Shall we go stop by the guild? Yeah, we should probably talk to Aina and find what, out what jobs are waiting for us. Let's go! Let's see, probably that way. Yo, is that you, Pat? And Luke? We're still cutting up. Come on, fellas, where's the fire? Uh, let's see if we can uh, check this shop out. We got uh, some extra goo, some extra cash. So, it looks like Estelle is going to be the tank. So we're going to use, pretty much try to build up as much defense as we can for her at this point. I'll take this leather vest. Can we get these bikes? Oh, nope, can't. 10,800. Well, let's see what else we can sell. We're not using the twin dirks. 50 bucks. Might as well just keep that. I haven't picked up anything useful. Nope. Well, we'll settle for the leather boots for now, then. I don't think she can wear it. I think that's a different slot, right? Yeah. Prevents poison, prevents mine, prevents sleep. Yeah, we don't care about that. Let's do some leather boots. There's that button again. Damn it. I'll get used to it. I promise. Armor vest. Leather boots. And let's see. So he's all stock with the leather vest as well. Alright. Neat. Uh, let's talk to our girl Stella. Well, how are you two doing today? Cassius is going to be gone for a while, right? Yeah, that's right. If you need anything, please know you're welcome to come ask for help. We're not strangers or new acquaintances, you know. Don't hesitate if you need anything or I'll be really angry. Aha, thanks for the reminder. I like Stella. I'm going to try checking with her. Oh, this dude. Into the guild we go. Find the shiny rock. I'd like someone to find my shiny rock. Please speak to me directly for details. I think I might drop upon more Melder's Orbal Factory. Alright. However, sir, a ferocious monster known as Pine Plant has been spotted over the Milch Main Road. Ferocious from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. Alright, let's talk to Aina real quick. Oh, good morning, Estelle and Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we came here to find out about the jobs he left for us. Sure, there are a total of three jobs I have lined up for you. The first one, I'd like you to head out to the farm west of here. The farm west of here? Isn't that where Tio lives? Tio? I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Tio Prezel. She was one of our classmates at Sunday school. She also She's also the Prezel farm owner's daughter. Oh, really? It's actually the Prezel farm that put in a request to have, some extermin have one exterminate some monsters. Are they really having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody's been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. I never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay, we'll head out that way. Head out there right now. Here, take this with you. Receive guild referral. This document certifies that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tio's father pretty well, so I don't think this is necessary. But we'll take it just in case. I mean, that just sounds like procedure there, young lady. Ridge, it seems as though your father is going to be gone in business for a while. The second you think dad's been home for a bit, he strolls right back out the door. 
wonder if he's really working sometimes. Cassius is in every way the veteran member of the Relent Branch. It seems like until recently, Cassius was handling all important requests single hand, all important requests single-handedly. Really? Yep. It seems like he only just started leaving some of those jobs to Shara. Looks like he gets a lot of direct requests from other branches as well. That's why he's gone so often. I had no idea. Well, he's a type of person that never talks about work while he's at home. Yeah, whenever he's at home, he's just like a no good middle aged man. <laughs> and that's about an hour. So I guess I'm gonna cut it off here. But I think we know what we're gonna be doing next. Well, one, I'm gonna be pressing triangle instead of circle over and over again. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be taking care of some of those requests and uh, making some progress, getting strong. Because we're going to be fantastic bracers. As usual, I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great day.